Hi everybody, thanks for joining us today. We're here with the princesses and some of their friends and we're going to be doing this exciting clock puzzle and we will be practicing our numbers, our shapes and our colours. So um, we're going to start off with one of the characters over on this side. Who would like to go first? I will. Oh, hi Cinderella. Cinderella, can you tell us what number is on your block? I think it's a number seven. That's right, Cinderella. You've got a seven on your block. And what shape is the face of this block? What shape is this? Hmm. It looks like a circle, but it's squashed up. That's right. The face is not a circle because it's a bit more squashy. Do we know what it's called? It's, oval. That's right, oval. it's called an oval. So you've got a, a number seven on an oval, and what colour is your block and your dress, Cinderella? It's blue. That's right, it's blue. Now, the next thing we have to do is we have to match this number and the oval shape to the correct place on the clock. Oh, well done. It's over here, that's right. And that is the number seven. Can everybody say? Seven. 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 Good. Oh, and we've made it so that it says seven o'clock. Okay, so at the moment it says seven o'clock because the minute hand is pointing I at the top and the hour it. hand is pointing to the seven. I want to. Oh, Elena, you want to go next? Okay, so Elena, first of all, can you tell us what number you've got? on your block. What number is this, Elena? Three. That's right, Elena. It's the number three. And what colour is your block? I'll tell it. This I have. It's red and it's red. That's right, Elena. Your block is red. It's the same colour as your dress. And what shape is the end of your block? What shape is it? What shape is the end of your block? It's a triangle. Correct. It's a triangle and you can see where it goes. That's right. So the triangle fits just there. Perfect. We're going to make it three o'clock now. Now it says, let's just push that up a little bit. There we go. Now it says three o'clock on the clock. So we've got our seven and our three. Let's go to the next character to help us out. Who's going next? Oh, hello, Pony. What number, Pony, have you got? Hmm. It's like an upside down six. But it's not a six, is it? Turn it round. What number have you got? I think it's a nine. That's correct, Pony. You've got the number nine. And what colour is your block? It's the same colour as me. It's a green block. It's a green block. And do you know what shape yours is? What shape is the face of this block? Does anybody know? I'm not sure. It's got a special name. This is called a trapezium. Can we all say trapezium? Trapezium. Yeah, that's a shape that you'll learn when you're a bit bigger, Pony. Okay, do you want to bring your green block and find out where it goes on the clock? Who can see where it goes? That's right. It goes here on the left hand side. And are we going to turn it to say nine o'clock? <gasps> Yay, now it says nine o'clock. Lovely, tick tock, tick tock. Okay, who's going next over this side? Oh, you're going next, Ariel. Lovely, now just stay there for a minute. Stand still, Ariel. Let's just have a little look at what you've got. Can you tell us what number you've got, Ariel? It's a four. That's right, you've got number four. And what colour is your block? Pink, like your dress. Pink, like your dress. And what shape is the face of your block? Do you know what shape it is? It's a square. That's right, because it's got four equal sides and four equal angles. And where does it go? That's right. No, it's not, is it? It doesn't fit. Because these sides are not the same. Look, this shape here has got two long sides and two short sides. 
and we want one where it's all the same that's right let's make sure the four is facing the right way that fits perfectly and now it says four o'clock okay moving over here who's left oh peter pan hi peter the boy who never wants to grow up nope. what number have you got peter it's a one and a zero and what does that make that makes it a ten yes you've got the number ten peter and what color block do you have it's like me it's green yes you've got a green block and let's look at the face of the block who can see what shape the face of this block is it, mm, it's a bit like a square i'm not sure it's think... called a diamond peter can you say diamond diamond yeah some people call it a kite shape but we can say it's a diamond shape Okay, let's put your diamond shape in the clock. Can you see where it goes? No, that's not right, Peter. <gasps> that's right, Peter. Number 10, it goes after the nine. So we've got two next to each other here. We've got nine and 10. And on this side, we've got two next to each other. We've got three and four. Okay, so who's having a go next? Oh, hi there. Hi, Jasmine. What number do you have? Oh, let's have a look, shall we? Is that the number eight I can see? It is, yes. It's the number eight. That's a tricky one to draw. And, oh, you're putting it straight in. Wow, look at that. So we've got the number eight. And the number eight has actually, this shape has actually got, if we look at the face of it, it's actually got eight sides. And an eight-sided shape is called an octagon. Can we say octagon? Octagon. Octagon. We can remember that because an animal with eight shapes is an octopus. Okay, who's going next? Oh, little pony. Hi, little pony. Hello. Oh, you're a lovely. You're a lovely colour. What colour are you? Pink. Yeah, you're a pink or a pe It's quite a peachy pink. We could say peach. Can you say peach? Peach. Yeah, we can see it's a bit different. This colour's very pink. And this colour's like an orangey pink. It's called a peach, peach colour. Um, I, I, I look like a yellow bit. You do. And what number is on your shape? Is it the very first number? It's one. It's one. And you've got a lovely flower shape, haven't you? Very nice. That's it. It's easy to see where number one goes, isn't it? It's the only one with... Um, curved curved sides apart from the oval i think right okay so that's one should we make it one o'clock that's it to make it one o'clock the little hand the hour hand has to point to the one and whenever we say o'clock the minute hand is always pointing to the top o'clock one o'clock can you say one o'clock one o'clock okay so let's find the next character who's going next I will. Oh, hi. We've got one of the princess pets here. And what colour are you? I am orange. Yeah, you're orange like your block. Wow, okay. And what number is on your block? It's two. It comes after one and before three. That's right. It's the number two. And if we look at the shape, this is an interesting shape. It's nearly um, a rectangle, but it's like it's been pushed over. This is actually called a parallelogram. Parallel what? A parallelogram, yeah, it's a complicated shape name. But it's a four-sided shape. And the reason it's not a rectangle is because two of the sides are slanting. So the angles are different. Okay, number two, the orange one. Where's that going to go? Let's have a look. That's right. It goes after one and before three. And how are we going to change it to say two o'clock? That's right, we just need to move our hour hand to the two. And the minute hand stays at the top, two o'clock. Okay, who's going next? Me. Oh, hi Tiana. That's a beautiful dress you've got on. It's green. It's green, it's a very minty green, isn't it? The block that you've got. 
and that the block seems to match your glove colour. And do you know what number you've got on your block, Tiana? Mm-hmm. It's got two ones together. And two it's ones together. One. You've seen where it goes. It goes after ten. What number comes after ten? It's the number 11. Can we all say 11? 11. 11. 11. And we're going to make it 11 o'clock. But we have to get the hands the right way round. So it has to be the little hand, the hour hand, points to the 11. And the minute hand has to point to the top. It's my turn. Oh, hi, Rapunzel. Hello. Wow, you really match your block, don't you? Your dress is lovely. And what colour dress have you got on? Just like my black. Purple. And what number have you got on the top? I have the number five. And the top of your block makes a five-sided shape. A five-sided... You've got a question, Sophia. What's your question? I purple like my dress. So you've got purple and you've got purple. We've got two different purples, haven't we? Mm -hmm. mm, yours is more of a violety purple and yours is more of a reddy purple. Very nice. Lovely purples. Both of you have got beautiful purples. Okay, so this one has is number five and it's a five-sided shape called a pentagon. Can yeah. everybody say pentagon? Pentagon. Pentagon, good. So, can you work out where the pentagon shape and the number five go on our clock? It goes straight after four. That's right. Brilliant. So we can go. We can count round. No. Yeah, we have to have it the right way round. Otherwise, it doesn't say five o'clock. Now it says five o'clock. Should we count round all the way from the one? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I wonder what's going to go at the bottom here. But which princess is going next then? Me. <gasps> You're going next. Oh, and what number? Oh, you've got the one for the bottom. That's correct. Do you know what number it is? It's uh, What number is it, Sophia? What comes after five? Three. It's not three. Should we count again and see if we can work it out? One, two, three, four, five. Six. That's right, it's the number six. Wow. They've just put that line at the bottom so that you know that's the bottom because otherwise you might get it muddled up and put it like that and then it says nine. So that line isn't, we don't normally put a, nine, a line under a six, but that's just so we know that that's the bottom and that's the right way up. So that's our number six and it's a purple colour and a six-sided shape is called a hexagon. Can we all say hexagon? Hexagon. Hexagon, hexagon. that's a tricky one. Oh, and last but not least, our beautiful Belle. What colour is your dress, Belle? It's yellow. It's yellow. And look at that big number you've got. It's the last number that's going on our clock. It's the number where the minute hand has been pointing for all of these goes. So you've got a really big number there. It's made of a one and a two. Do you know what number it is, Belle? I think it's a... 12. That's right, Belle. You've got the number 12 and it goes right at the very end at the top of the clock. It's a star shape. It's a star shape and it's shining very bright, isn't it? And we've made it so that it says 12 o'clock. Both hands are pointing to the top. Whee! Should we count all the way around the clock now, Belle? Do you want to help us? One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, well done, Belle. That was great counting. I have a question. You've got a question. Okay, Jasmine, what's your question? Isabel is blue, like, like, like Cinderella and me. So, so, of course... Because you have three ones. Right, so you're saying that there's more than one blue colour there is. Look, there's two blues. Number seven and number eight are both blue, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, they're different colour blues, different type of blue. This one's like a bit of a turquoise blue. It's very nice colour, isn't it? Can I, can wow, lovely. Here we go. 
Okay, now we're going to do a little challenge. Oh, as a, Elena, have you got a question? What's your question? Can my sister come on stage, please? Can your sister come? Yes, you can go and get your sister. Okay, so we're going to do a little challenge. We're going to make a time, and you've got to guess what time it is. Who knows what time it says now? Hmm. I know, I know, I know. Me, 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 me. Okay, me. Rapunzel, what time does it say? It's three o'clock. That's correct. It's three o'clock because the hour hand is pointing to the three and the minute hand is pointing to the twelve, which means we say o'clock. It's on the three o'clock time. I have the question. You have a question, Ariel. <laughs> can Snow White come on stage? You can get Snow White as well if you want to. Maybe Snow White can tell us what the next time is going to be. Ready? Snow White, do you know what time it says? Yes. Yeah. What time does it say? It says seven o'clock. That's right, Snow White. It says seven o'clock because the hour hand is pointing to the number seven. And our minute hand is still pointing to the top. Okay, what time is it now? I know what it is. Okay, Cinderella, can you tell everybody what time it is? It's nine o'clock. Yes, it's nine o'clock now. Well done, Cinderella. And what time is it now? Who knows what time it is? Me. You know what time it is, Elena. Oh, this is a tricky one. What's that number? It's the four. It's the same one we learned a minute ago. Do you it's remember? A four. It's a four. It's not a four. Let's count round and check. So we're going to say one, two, three, four, five. Six, so it's six, six o'clock. Six o'clock. Well done, Elena. You're getting very good at telling the time. Okay, what about now? What time does it say now? Hmm. Oh, hello. Ele Elena, are you riding your friend? Yeah. Okay, what time does it say now? I think I might know. Okay, Peter, tell us what time it says. This is the number two. So it's two o'clock. Well done, Peter. Okay, last one. Okay, who knows what time it is now? Me. Okay, Tiana, come on over then. Can you tell us what number the hour hand is pointing to? And the time is. That's it. What time is what time is it then, Tiana? It's a diamond. It's a diamond shape. And what number is it? It's forty. So, Tiana, what number is the hour hand pointing to? It's ten. That's right, Tiana. So, it's ten o'clock. Well done. Okay, just to finish off today, we're going to have a surprise visit from... <gasps> it's Minnie Mouse. Everybody say hello, Minnie Mouse. Hello. Okay, Minnie, do you mind if we sing a song with you? Of course. I, I, I have a castle. Can oh, you've got a guitar, Elena. You can play for us. Are we ready? Ready, steady, go. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock, tick tock, tick tock. Thank you for watching today. You're welcome, Minnie. And thank you to all of our lovely friends who helped us out today. Thank you, friends. Bye.